For all your embroidery and digitizing needs, call Bees Embroidery. A flat tire isn't always as obvious and dramatic as one might think. More often than not, you're driving down the road and feel a vibration in the steering wheel or your vehicle starts to pull to one side. Both situations are often a sign of tire trouble. When driving your car, if you feel a vibration in your steering wheel, especially across various road surfaces, you could have problems with your tires and you should have them inspected. The best way to maintain your tires is to do a periodic just visual inspection of your tires. If you see cracks on the sidewalls, it may be time to get them replaced. If you see a bulge in the side of your tire, you definitely want to get it replaced because you're likely going to have a blowout soon. Your tires need to be replaced when they're under 1 16th an inch of tread, and you don't need any special equipment to check them. Stick a penny upside down in the tread of your tire, and if you can see the top of Abe Lincoln's head, then your tire tread is way too low and you need to replace your tires. There's tread bars on a tire and uh, you can look at those once it gets down to that point. It's 230 seconds to tread, so you know you're going to need tires. If just one or two tires need to be replaced, you don't need to buy a whole new set. The other tires still need to be somewhat new, however. If you have an all-wheel drive vehicle, um, if you replace one tire, there can't be more than 530 seconds of tread difference between the other three. If so, it can create problems with the uh, differential, the driveline system. Just as making any other large purchase, make sure any new tires you buy really are new. Check the DOT number on the sidewall. The last four digits indicate the week and the year that tire was made. While it's common to see new tires that are actually 6 to 12 months old, don't consider anything older than that. It's always best to replace all four tires at the same time if you can afford it, but Angie says it's okay to patch a punctured tire as long as the hole is less than a quarter inch wide and located on the crown of the tire, not near the edge or sidewall. If you are unsure if you need a repair or replacement, it's best to stay safe and check with a pro.